It's a sad fact that larger women don't often get noticed in the fashion world, with skinny, waif-like models ruling the runways. But every once in a while, a designer will give a nod to the real women of the world and put a plus-size model in his or her show. Such was the case with the voluptuous Crystal Wren, who recently walked the runway in Paris. I've never been happier, I mean, because for once in my life I've been able to accept, like, this is who I am, I love my job and I can do it at this size and it's fabulous. The chances of any young girl breaking into the world of modeling are slim at best, especially if you're not stick thin. 19-year-old Crystal Wren, however, is an exception. Unlike most models, it was when she actually put weight on that she began to get real attention. A favorite of fashion photographer Stephen Mizell, in the last year she has shot for French, Italian and American Vogue and was even asked to walk the runway for Jean-Paul Gaultier at the latest Paris collections. That was one of the best experiences of my life, I have to say, is my career. And uh, he's lovely. I, the dress was beautiful, and uh, it was my first runway show. She was looking so beautiful because she has the same type, like beautiful shapes. She's a beautiful woman. There's a face which is like quite uh, beautiful and modern also at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Though her larger size is now being embraced, this was not always the case. A familiar story for many models, Wren spent years struggling to keep her weight down and fit the dangerously thin mold the fashion industry has made standard. I would go to a shoot and, you know, two shoots or something a day. I'd get home at 11, I would have to work out through the night and or I wouldn't eat during, you know, the whole time. And it's just a constant food thinking about food. I'm like shooting. I couldn't focus on what I was doing because I'm thinking about cheeseburgers. Beautiful. Naturally a size 14, Wren was in a constant battle with her body early in her career. A Miami native, she was first scouted in Mississippi at the age of 14 and told that she could get into vogue if she just lost some weight. She suffered to lose about 85 pounds, but soon realized that it was unrealistic and unhealthy to maintain her smaller size. When I made that decision to gain the weight and be like, listen, this is how I am, I can't do this anymore, I just, I don't think it's a good example that I'm setting for other people that I'm starving myself like this. And they were very supportive, very supportive. Beautiful. Uh -huh. I mean, the photographers, they don't just try to tell me, oh, suck it in, or, you know, they don't try to tell me all these things. They just say, be the way that you are, and, and I really appreciate this support. Fun. Look at me. Gorgeous. We all have different notions of what beauty is and, you know, there are people that would find someone like Crystal much, much more attractive than whoever is on the cover of Vogue right now. In the U.S., most women are size 12 or above, so, you know, you have to be realistic. And I think the designers who are realistic about that sizing in that market like a Phoebe Philo at Chloe who sells size 12 and size 14 are very smart and they're doing very well. They think there is some beautiful girls that are very slim, but other ones that have more shapes, more poitrine, more bustier, more uh, derriere, but, 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 but always beautiful. So I always wanted to show that, uh, that beauty and she is one of those beauties. I recall That's a wrap. That's it? That's it. Oh my god. <laughs>